In this video, we're going to go over a complete ECG, also known as an electrocardiogram. There are 12 leads and 10 electrodes. These leads are used to look at the heart's depolarization at different angles. Towards the end of the video, we will hook up a patient and show how an actual ECG works. First, we're going to go over the leads. Here's a diagram of our 10 electrodes. V1 through V6 are our chest leads, and they look at the electrical activity on the corona plane. In the R wave, we're going to see the biggest deflection because that is when the main mass of ventricles become depolarized. The right arm, left arm, left leg, right leg are our limb leads, and they look at the electrical activity on the transverse plane. Here's a diagram of our 12 limb leads. This is created by using the right arm, left arm, and left leg electrodes to create a triangle known as Eitufen's triangle. That leaves our right leg to be our ground electrode. Going with the three main limbs, which is lead one goes from the right arm to the left arm, lead two goes from the right arm to the left leg, and lead three goes from the left arm to the left leg. Then our three augmented limbs is the AVR, known as the augmented vector right, goes from the middle to the right arm. Our AVL is the augmented vector left, goes from the middle to the left arm. And the AVF is our augmented vector foot that goes from the middle to the left leg. Alright, so we are going to put the first electrode on him, which is the V1. And by doing so, we're going to prepare the skin with an alcohol swab. I'm going to rub it really hard, make sure his skin is not oily anymore. And normally uh, we would shave him, but we don't have any razors on us at the moment. So. V1 is located on the fourth intercostal, which if you can feel right here, this little bump, that's the third. So one more would be the fourth on the right side. So that one will go here. And the second one, maybe really high. Two hours later. Now here we have our patient with all 10 electrodes on him already. As I said earlier, V1 is on the fourth intercostal on the right side. Then we placed V2, which is on the fourth intercostal on the left side. From there, we place uh, V4 uh, next, which is on the mid clavicle line, which is right here. So right there. And then we can place V3 which is between V2 and V4. Then we place V6 on the mid axillary line on the same level of V4. And then after that, we can place V5, which is in between V4 and V6. Now, then we can place the limb leads, which is uh, the right arm is right here, right under the clavicle between his shoulder and his pec. Then we place the left arm, and then we have the right leg and the left leg. All right. So here we have our patient hooked up to the ECG. Uh, we attach these, which all have their numbers, V1, V2, and etc. Once everything is hooked up, we look at our little scan and it shows us his heart rate. As you can see on the top right, it's about 88. This is a normal sinus rhythm, which is usually between 60 to 100 beats per minute. There is tachycardia, which is over 100 beats per minute, and bradycardia, which is under 60 beats per minute.